So what I'm showing you today is the 3D printers. So what we have here is a program called Thingiverse on the right screen. And so what happens here is uh, there's already blueprints on the computer. So we have models, we have different tools, we have toys and games, hobbies, gadgets. So if I just click on something like tools, when I'm in tools, there's all sorts of prints that are already available. And so if I just scroll down, you can see a whole bunch of different hot glue gun holders. Um, just a whole bunch of different things. Prosthetic hand terminal uh, for making prosthetic hands. So if you can think of it, there's probably already a blueprint for it. So then once we pick our blueprint, which we have one on the left screen here, this is a um, Sphero robot chariot that we used at the homecoming um, assembly. And so we have to print another one of them. So we put it in this program. From there, we select our printer and then we start the print and the camera will pop up and it'll show uh, the 3D printers. So we hit start print, just like a normal printer. Once we do that, it just prints like anything else would. Uh, and then we'll, we'll go over there and we'll check out what the 3D printers show us. So as you can see, here's our 3D printers. And so the left one is printing a whistle currently. And that one will take about seven more minutes to finish printing. And then the right one is where we hit print and that's gonna make the chariot. And so that one's just starting to heat up the extruder. And then once it heats up the extruder, it'll start to print. So if Matt zooms in on this one, uh, he can see the individual layers that are slowly printing. So it just builds layer after layer. And so we have some materials that we already printed. Here's what that chariot end result will look like. And so we have that here. Here's the one that we get from the company. These are about $30. Here's the one we printed. It's about $3 worth of plastic. Uh, and we like this model actually better than what the company designed. Uh, we have a bracelet. So we have a stretch bracelet. So I know you can't see, but it prints in individual layers. And so there's about 50 layers on this. So it just slowly builds up uh, layer after layer until it's complete and finishes. This takes about 30 minutes to make. It's about 47 cents of plastic. Uh, we have a chain link. So the way the chain link works, it prints it with a really thin latency in between the two links. And so as soon as it's done printing, then you just kind of twist it and it snaps that latency that's in between. And then you have an interlocked chain link. So that's what the chain is. Uh, this we needed a, a screwdriver holder for our tech interns when they're working on the Chromebooks. And so we printed a screwdriver holder. And so this blueprint was already made and then we just added the star in the Bulldog Tech logo. Uh, our interns also needed a spot to store screws. And so that's what this is. It's just a screw holder. So when they take it apart, they have a whole bunch of compartments for all the different size screws when they're replacing batteries and whatnot on the Chromebooks. Uh, so in, in classes, basically a, a big thing is just the design process. So a student learning how to design whatever it is. And then in AutoCAD, they can make that design. And then right away, they can print that design and see what it turns out to look like. Uh, so that's a big part is just learning the design process. Uh, not so much what you're going to get from that. Uh, but just like building anything, they can see the whole process that's behind building that. Uh, they can make a prototype of that. So if you think about a, a car company, they're able to print just a plastic version of whatever it is. They can see it before they put millions of dollars into the equipment, the assembly line, to actually mass produce a product. 